Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk and in this video we're going to be troubleshooting wireless internet connection problems and wired internet problems. So basically the first thing you want to do is always check your hardware, make sure the area is all plugged in, make sure the, uh, the DSL cable is plugged in and the Ethernet cable is plugged in and basically all the lights are lighting up at the front and the power is on. So check all your cabling, check all the hardware, make sure the cables are not faulty. Then move on to a cable modem. This is the same sort of thing, but it's slightly different here apart from a DSL cable. This will go straight to the modem. Make sure you haven't got it in one of these ports here, and they are actually in the right order. Okay, and the aerial's all screwed in nice and tight, and the lights are lighting up. You should be seeing something of this nature, like that. Where well, you've got the power light, the internet light should be on, the wireless light should be on and you've got one, two, three and four. One of these lights should be on depending on which port you've plugged it into. Now this is a Netgear so depending on what route you've got the icons will be slightly different but they mean the same sort of thing really. Okay. The next thing you want to check is your ISP. Make sure you ain't got a fault with your ISP. It's no good spending three hours looking and actually it's down to your ISP. You can, if you can get on the internet onto another computer, you can actually check the status page. Say Virgin uh, Virgin status page. So just type Virgin's status here. Yeah? Sorry, status like that. And then basically that will bring up uh, a status page. You just pick your region and it will tell you if there's any problems in your local area. Just click on that and it will say whether there's any problems and what's going on. Okay, that will save you wasting time. And also, if you've got, say, BT for instance, there's a BT status page and there's a ton of different ones, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they've not. They've normally all got a status page, so you just have a little look. There's a BT one. And basically, it tell you what's going on, whether the problem's been resolved or what's happening. Okay. The next thing I would do uh, is go into the Start Run CMD and click OK, and I would type in here IP config like so, space forward slash all, and then push Enter, and then that will when you push enter you'll get something like this and you want to be looking for an IP address make sure you're getting an IP address yeah and make sure the submit mask is 255.255.255.0 the default gateway is your router IP normally uh, and make sure all these are, this is all correct okay and you've got everything if you're getting a 0.0.0, .0 maybe you're getting an IP address and I'll show you how to correct that in a minute the next one you want to look for is also a wireless make sure you're getting a wireless one, make sure your IP is right. Now you could do, if you're getting um, 0, 0.0, you could do an IP renew and release. So basically you want to go into here, type IP config, and then forward slash uh, release, like so. Oh sorry, spelled that wrong. And then type release, like so. And that will then knock the connection out. And what we're going to do is renew. You can see the warning sign down there, so it's knocked it out. And now what we're going to do is type IP config, or you can push the up cursor key to bring it up, and then just type renew, like so. Push enter, and that will actually renew the IP. And you can see a little ball working backwards and forwards down in the bottom right hand corner. And that's given us a new IP. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is. Um, come into command prompt run cmd okay and then you want to try and ping your router so you type ping like so space my router ip is 196 oh sorry 192.168.56 i think and dot one so not that and basically you'll get a you will get a return on that so if you get a return, that means there's nothing wrong with a network a connection. It's something, maybe a browser problem or something of that nature. If it is a browser problem, you can actually just reset the browser. What I advise you to do is come in, go advanced, reset your browser settings to default. Make sure the security ain't too high, but I think when you reset them, it should go back to default and see if that works. If you don't, try a different browser. If you're using Internet Explorer, try Firefox or the other way around. Okay, the next thing I would do is ping a, a website, as in bbc.co.uk, if you live in England that is, and then just ping that. And if you're getting a return on that, that means you're getting outside and actually getting return 
a reply from that website which is all good if you're getting hundred percent loss there's a problem with the connection and it's down and it may be server side ISP something like that okay so the next thing you want to try is go start control panel um, network connections um, and then once you get in here you want to look for local area network if this has got a cross on it right click and enable it these are the normal common errors you'll see um, you will see uh, disabled that's one of the common ones uh, network cable unplugged that's a common one as well not connected you'll see that and also limited or no connectivity now d disabled you just right click and enable like so so basically all you would do with that is just actually open this up right click and enable you see enable disable there's no enable there because it's already not connected that just means it's not connect not connected means you've not connected to a wireless network at this time so also uh, network cable unplugged it says what it says it's unplugged there may be a cable that's not working properly or it's unplugged so it's not talking and actually limited or no connectivity means it's been misconfigured in the actual router or something of like that it might be a wrong uh, web key or something of that nature or SSID key just keep uh, check all your settings okay so the next thing I would do is right click on local area network click properties put a tick in here so you can see the little icon down on the screen go down to TCP IP settings you don't really need to do, do this much nowadays but we're going to properties here and make sure you get an I, attain IP address automatically in there okay that's really important and also I would do the same with a wireless one just right click properties and make sure go TCP IP make sure you're getting obtain IP address automatically right, and DNS the server address automatically okay the next thing uh, I would do is you could actually do a right click on the actual connection like so and do a repair to see if that will fix it okay and also what you need to do is check you can go to control panel network connections and actually click on that change settings or or connection click on that then go wireless networks up the top now you should be looking here now if you're getting this sort of error message which is uh, this one it means basically the service is not started so all you need to do is go start control panel um, administration tools services like so and then come all the way down the bottom to where it says uh, wireless zero connection click on that and click start the service make sure it's on automatic and start the service okay now once you've started the service if you want to use this is uh, basically what I'm using here as you can see for a wireless connection there is an actual uh, you'll see wireless bit of software but if you want to use um, Windows you put the tick in here and use the actual Windows configuration software and make sure that your preferred network is uh, yours at the top and all, you can delete all the others remove them if you have them there and also go in here and make sure this tick is not in here otherwise it will do non-preferred networks and whatever so take that out and make sure you've got yours at the top okay that's another little one you need to check out for because that's quite common also check your firewall settings make sure you haven't said no to this, lo this local network out basically and it will block it just as if you've got zone alarm on it or something like that always um, check that firewall setting okay the next thing you want to do is right click on my computer go properties hardware device manager and check your network card make sure it's okay because you may have a faulty card okay so if you've got a red cross here now you may be seeing something of this nature um, where are we something like this if you're seeing something like that then it's, it's either enable it or you may see a yellow question mark or something like that if you are you need to right click on it and enable it okay now maybe you've got a duff driver on there click on the actual one that you want to do the ethernet cable cable now you want to be using either disable uninstall update driver or scan for new hardware so you uninstall the driver first click here we can click actions uninstall we can right click and uninstall it and once you've uninstalled it don't reboot the PC basically scan for new hardware it will find the card and actually put the driver back on if you reboot 
it will delete the driver that was on in the cache and basically you will have or in the temporary file the driver will be gone and if you haven't got that driver available or Windows can't find it you will not get back on the internet okay so I hope these tips and tricks have helped you out to troubleshoot your little internet problems my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk thanks very much for watching bye for now